Jesus Christ. Amen. Most High God, we thank you. We bless you only because you are never tired of speaking to us, O oh God. Jesus Christ, you have gathered us, O oh God, to feed us, O oh God, even with your broken body and your blood. Father, your broken body and your blood do not come with ease. With ease. Father, your blood will still out of pain and of this, so you are pierced. Father, we say thank you for how wonderful work you did for us. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Father, even as you hear your word now, speak to us, O God, in the language you understand. Talk to us, O God, give me the name to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the wonderful exhortation. Before, before this hour is titled The Spirit of Continuity. The Spirit of Continuity. That's why I say the power of continuity. For the time now, we have been experiencing revival, all around revival. But the thing is, how many can continue with it? Starting it is not it. But who can continue to the end of time? That's why we are here this hour, that we might get that power, that strength to continue in this journey. We have just started another phase of the journey now. We have just started another phase again, phase of ever burning. To be burning for the Lord. But the thing is this. How many can sustain it? Sustainability is what the Lord is looking for. Not those who will start the race, people who can keep it up, continue and end it. And I pray the Lord will help us to be in that group that will finish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 22, verse 28 to 30. Luke 22. 28 to 30. Say, Yea, are they which have continued with me in my temptation. That means Christ himself was also tempted. Yea, you people are the ones who continue with me in my temptation. Verse 29. And I appointed unto you a kingdom there is gain in continuity there's gain in steadfastness and i appointed unto you a kingdom as my father has appointed unto me verse 30 that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on throne judging the twelve tribe of israel this is the gain of continuity but for this to happen you must get get that power from the lord he that will appoint you on that day he that will cry on that day is the only one that can still give you the power to continue the power of continuity is in his body and his blood he gives the power 
That's why we will cry as a father. I don't just want to enroll, but I want to continue till the end. To occupy till I come. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. it, the Lord wants to count you among those on that day. I will say, yes. I was always watching you people. You have a faithful servant because you are among those who continue. I thought when I will come, I will not, have, I will not find faith on earth. But I find you worthy. And I pray this will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 6, verse 12. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray, talking about our master, Jesus Christ. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer unto God. In prayer to God. Jesus Christ has taught us about continuity. Not jumping in and jumping out. You are born again in the morning, in the afternoon, you are funny. Born again, funny. No. Persistency, continuity is what God is demanding from us now. The fire is burning. Let us sustain the, the fire on our altar. The fire must keep burning. Keep rekindling the fire every day by day. And I pray, this same Jesus Christ, who went into prayer maybe in the evening and continue all night long till daybreak. And the Bible, if you read for that, it was take it down, you will see what happened the next day. That's when the Lord spoke to him and show him the apostles that will work with him. There's power in prayer. There's power in continuity. And I pray the Lord will grant us that spirit of continuity in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible told us in Acts chapter 2, verse 24. Acts 2, 42, rather. Acts 2, 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. Continuity, continuity. And they continue steadfastly in apostles' doctrine. And fellowship. None of them were feeble. None of them were, none of them, they, no one of them fell out. They were all together. Praying, fasting, doing whatever the Lord asked them to be doing before he left. They continue. And we shall continue until he comes in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And in breaking of bread and prayer, in love, in unity, they were all together in one accord. And I pray that spirit of unity, of continuity, of sustainability will be given to us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. Say, these all continue. All of them. These all continue. All the brethren in Ireland continue. All the brethren in UK continue. In Germany, everywhere, all over the world. They all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication. Prayer and supplication. With the women, even the women, they follow up. They never say, hey, it's just my husband who will do it. Or it's my wife. No, they all continue because they know it's one race. On that day, the Bible let, let not say, hey, because you are a woman, I will make your own light. No, it is the same thing. Men and women are running the same race. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. They never say, ah, we know him. We have immunity. As far as I am the mother of Christ, he, when I get there, he will tell me, with my sin, go in. You are my mother. If she had done so, she would have been surprised to know that judgment is judgment. But she did say, do, do so. Though she was the mother of Christ, she humbled herself and joined the apostles 
to continue in prayer, in living holy and righteously to the end of time. We all shall continue to the end of time in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Every surprise, I am the apostle. I am this. So it's only Sister Antonio Kaka that's supposed to do that. I am above that. Hmm. Nobody's above that judgment seat. And I pray, Lord, help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I close with this Matthew 18 19. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is heaven. If all of us can be in unity, keep asking of the Lord, I tell you, nothing shall be impossible for us. The church gathered to pray, and Lord sent angel, angel to rescue our brother, by Peter, out of the hands of Herod. If we can also join together with one mind, in one accord, there's nothing we cannot achieve. Let any one of us go to any government for documents, it will be released for, for the person. Hey, pregnancy once, because we are all in unity. And I pray. The spirit of unity, continuity, persistency will be given to us today as we are eating his body and drinking his blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. This is the word of exhortation. The word is enough for the wise. And I pray the Lord will help us to continue till he comes in holiness, in righteousness, in purity, in love, unity, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm. Brother, are there for you to be among these people the Lord is talking to? You must be born again. If you are not born again, and you continue with us, at the end of time, you'll be surprised. You will point to us, you, I never know you. And I pray as many of us on this mountain that have salvation is not genuine. The Lord will make it genuine today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are there, you are not born again. I want you to consider it now because your life might end now. Rapture can come now. Where will you find yourself? Say after me if you want to give your life to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've seen how you love your children. I have asked them to continue with you till you come and pick me home. Lord Jesus, I want to be a part of them. But right now, I am in a far country of sin. Pleading for mercy. Wash me clean with your heat soap. Purge me with your blood. Take my name away from the book of death. And write it in the book of life. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Come and abode in me. I am born again. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for speaking your word to me. Thank you, Father, for delivering my soul from hell. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Beloved, I rejoice with you. And I know the Lord Jesus Christ and the holy angels, the saints that have gone ahead of us now, are rejoicing with you. And I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, the entrance of the word, give light. Father, the light of your word has shined upon somebody right now. Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, this one that have come out of, came out of darkness, Father, you sustain them. The spirit of sustainability, the spirit of, of existency, release upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, this one, oh God, they have put their hands on the plow, they will never look back again. Father, the grace to hate sin, to love what you love and hate what you hate, release upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Amen. thank you for everyone of us that have heard, heard your word this hour. None of us shall fall out of God. This word will not be will not be spoken to us in hell. Rather, we shall all rejoice and share the story of how we overcome, which shall come to you in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, we have heard the